Hey everyone, uh, this is a short little video um, going over the updates to the Low Poly Landscape Series uh, pack on the Unity Asset Store. Um, so my previous pack, or the, the, the major pack, um, comes with uh, mesh assets, so trees, rocks, all that kind of stuff. And uh, with this update I've decided to um, uh, kind of expand the uh, assets to be used uh, with Unity Terrain. So uh, this is a little demo scene that comes with the new update um, and we still use a lot of the basic assets like these big rocks, um, the dead trees, um, boardwalks and things like that to create this uh, little scene here. But uh, the most important update here is the fact that we're using Terrain as our uh, base layer and um, and that uh, the trees and, and uh, grasses and details in here are also painted on the terrain. And uh, if you look, they, they use wind, which is one of my favorite features about using this system. So uh, let's take a look at what the pack comes with. So it comes with this demo scene again. Um, it comes with some textures. So if we select our terrain and we go to paint on our terrain, we'll see we have a few colors here that uh, that the uh, set comes with. I've also created a tileable normal map to kind of simulate the low poly um, kind of faceted look. Uh, it's not the best solution for making your terrain look kind of low poly and stuff like that, but it's uh, it's probably the best solution you have for just art and textures and things like that. Uh, there's some really good packs on the asset store if you're uh, looking to expand uh, the look of your game um, and you know have the budget to uh, pick up some other uh, utilities. Um, I highly recommend looking that up to get that again that nice faceted look. Um, so, anyways, that's the textures that uh, that come with the pack. Pretty, uh, you know, pretty simple. Um, I highly recommend you get yourself up to date on Unity terrain and painting and all that kind of stuff before, um, you know, fully mucking around with uh, the update um, if you're not uh, fully aware with how terrain works. Um, next, we have our trees, and this is kind of the the heart of the pack. Here is. Um, um, the birch, the oak, and the pine trees. Now these uh, simulate the, the the same kind of look that I had with the um, with the mesh uh, assets, except they're built in Unity Tree Creator. So if we um, if we take a look at one of these and click here, we'll find them in the project. Now the most important thing to note is that again they're using the Tree Creator, so they have uh, a base, branches, and leaves and stuff like that. Uh, the uh, the trunk and the branches are procedurally made by Unity, so they don't quite have that nice faceted look um, that you would want. Um, but I did include some textures to try and simulate the look of the other trees. So the oak and the uh, the birch guys have their own bark texture. Um, but the heart of it comes with the leaves. So each of these leaves are uh, mesh based. So if we click on one of these here, we'll get to go to the project view and check out um, all the different kind of leaves and bushes that come with there. So birch tree has these uh, bushy tops. Uh, the oak has uh, kind of larger, more pillowy ones. And the pine leaves has all the different sections um, of the pine. And there's also some tree mushrooms that are um, separated out here. Now, I had to re-export things like the mushrooms, even though they're pretty much the same as the other mesh. Um, I had to re-export them into the scene to um, or into this folder here uh, because they needed to use a different texture and stuff like that. So. Um, that's why they're in there. Anyways, if we take a look at the tree, see here it's all just created with uh, Unity Tree, and you're more than welcome to you know play around with the settings and change stuff up. And that's kind of where the heart of uh, this system comes into play. So if we take um, our typical tree here, you know, looks fine, right? Um, now if I wanted to create more trees for this pack, um, which is why I created the system, so you guys can create as much variety as you like for your project instead of just being limited to you know, the five, six trees that I've modeled for each of the sets. Um, simply take one of these um, these prefabs here that I've created with the um, with the trees, uh, duplicate it. So we have, you know, number seven. Um, I duplicated it to number eight. Um, and um, what you can do then is go into the, uh, the different systems here. So by default, we'll just start with the base. And um, you can just play around with the tree seat. Now, a lot of these will get you really silly looking trees, right? So if we slide around, we'll get some, you know, not some, not really <laughs> great looking trees. But, um, you know, with all the seeds that you have, you know, just playing around with this one number, you'll be able to get some pretty decent looking trees, right? So just play around and, until you get something that looks like a reasonably good tree. Now, if you want some more detail, you know, by all means, go into the, uh, the branches, you know, change around that. You can change around frequency if you want more branches. Um, you can also, um, you know, hide and unhide leaves if you want it to have, you know, more or less of anything. 
right? Just wanted a naked uh, birch tree, you can do that as well. Um, you know, and then you can go into basically any of these and decide, um, you know, hey, I want uh, I want more branches or less branches, or I want them to twirl more, um, or you know, be bigger, smaller, whatever it is. Um, you know, have some fun and um, you know, go into this uh, these settings here, play around with them, and get some trees that you like. You know, you can get some silly looking trees like this. Um, you get some real looking uh, trees like what we had before. Um, really, I mean, it's, it's up to you. And um, and I hope uh, you guys enjoy this update with the trees because, again, you can make as many trees as you like. So let's, um, let's just delete this guy here. And we'll move on. So also included um, is uh, details. So for the most part, they're just meshes that are from the rest of the project. Um, I did have to re-export them with Y up, so hopefully that doesn't mess up anything you've done so far. Um, it, hopefully you've used the prefabs in your scenes if you've been using the assets previously, um, and the prefabs will remain unchanged. Um, now, the meshes in here are great. You can um, you know pick a rock, pick your brush size, and just start painting rocks. That's a lot of rocks, you know. Um, let me delete some out if you've made too many, right? And um, you know, just paint up your rocks. And the nice thing about this is, a, you can, um, you know, quickly and easily paint some rocks in your scenes. You know, where you had to hand place these before, and it was a giant pain in the butt. Um, and the really nice thing about the terrain as well is, if you um, actually paint your terrain afterwards. So if we had, um, you know, we were happy with these rocks, but we decided, you know what, this is going to be oops, a bit of a hill. Let's, uh, let's turn down the opacity here a little bit more. You know, um, it will actually do its best to try and place rocks, um, you know, on your newly painted terrain. Um, so that, that's really cool, right? I mean, otherwise um, you would have to go through and, um, you know, delete rocks, you know, replace the uh, the ground meshes or whatever it is you're using, and um, and then replace the rocks again. So uh, this can be quite a nice time saving. Um, this works for all the different aspects that we have here. And so you want to put some, um, you know, some uh, uh, reeds in the water, you know, nice and easy. Again, you don't have to worry. Uh, my opacity is cranked right now, so I'm putting way too many things, you know, but um, uh, that's kind of the gist of that. Uh, and the two most important updates for the detail side of things are the grass textures that I created. Um, and this works just like the detail meshes, except it paints. Um, planes of grass, so you can switch between the two um, kind of designs of grass and get some variety. Um, read my documentation if you'd like to know some more about um, you know using these and changing up the settings um, and also read Unity's documentation on all this stuff. You know they have some quite helpful tips in there um, about performance because definitely you know adding too many of these things can affect performance and all that. Um, so be wary of that but um, you know hopefully you guys enjoy um, this update. So that's um, that's the um, majority of the, uh, the update here is the uh, the new assets, uh, mainly the tree assets and this demo scene. So let's take a quick run through the demo scene. I was like creating these um, these scenes here, so uh, you can kind of see how things can be used. You know, so we have. Um, we have all this, and, and my favorite part using all this tree, uh, train stuff, you know, you stop and you have some nice movement from the grass, from the trees, um, something that, you know, you couldn't really get with uh, the rest of the system. And if you notice the the the, uh, the grass kind of popping in as we walk, um, the train system has its own, you know, LOD system, uh, fade out system, detail, um, amount system, so really easy to, to kind of, um, you know, paint up and then uh, afterwards adjust for quality and performance and stuff like that. So, um, again, really nice features with the train and um, and hopefully you guys find it really useful. Now, before we head out, there is one thing I would like to note with uh, the trees on the train. Um, if you go to the settings here, there is a flag here for bake light probes for trees. Um, if you turn that on, the trees will look really nice. Uh, and they will get bounce lighting and stuff like that, except not all of the trees. Um, some of the trees will stay black, and if you delete this one tree, another tree will go black. Um, that is a bug, I believe, with the terrain that I've been um, researching and uh, looking up on the forums for. So by default, I'm keeping this off, um, which you do get a really nice look too, so it's not a big deterrent. Um, but, uh, you know, keep an eye on that if you are going to use light probes. And um, if an update comes out where they fix that, um, 
then you can go back to using light probes and all that. But uh, hopefully this video helps you guys kind of get to know the, the scene and the assets. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me, uh, write on the forum, or, um, you know, find another way to contact me, whatever is your preferred choice. And, um, yeah, please feel free to ask uh, any questions, and thanks for checking out uh, the pack. Uh, if you don't have the pack already, there's a link um, at the bottom of the video, and um, yeah, hopefully uh, you guys dig it. Thanks a lot.